guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Auto Nation Cadillac in Port Ritchie, Florida. And guess what? We have that one small power pack sedan people can't stop talking about. This is it. This is a 2022 Cadillac CT4V Blackwing. But before we get into this twin turbocharged carbon fiber aero equipped sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Cadillac. A lot of people don't realize, but Cadillac has a rich history in auto racing. Going back to Le Mans, going into obviously different forms of sports car racing, production style racing, and even in the IMSA WeatherTech series with their Daytona prototype cars, which are championship winning cars. Well, guess what? Cadillac wanted to take that engineering, take that technology, and definitely take the performance for what they are saying is their last of the internal combustion engine V-series cars. Everybody is moving towards electrification. The upcoming Cadillac Lyric will be their first EV. But what I want to find out is we still have these kinds of cars right now available to us. Is this the car? When you're looking at what's the competition, is this the car to buy over probably one of the biggest names in this class of performance sedan, the BMW M3, which also has a very, very rich history in auto racing. Let's go ahead, let's dive into the CT4V Blackwing and find out is it the better option over the M3. Let's go ahead and check it out. Right off the bat, this color, it's called Emerald Forest. I love the satin finish on it. It's actually an optional paint job color. It costs around $3,000 and it's a metallic satin finish. I've only seen one other besides this one, and that was at a Cars and Coffee event all the way in Sarasota. So it's nice to have this very rare color. At the front of the business, you're gonna get tons of functionality. Functional corner air intakes, a little bit of gloss black, but the good news is, like I said, they're gonna bring nice cool air, channel the air, and you're gonna get full LED lighting. Now, if we're comparing this to the M3, the overall size of the CT4V Blackwing is smaller, especially the frontal area. And that's gonna allow this car to cut through the air a lot cleaner than an M3. Another thing is, is that they added extra aero. So you'll see this full carbon fiber canard, also called a dive plane, and the front splitter. Each of these pieces helps give downforce and allows you to handle the twisty bits like none other before it. Now this car actually has more frontal downforce than an M3. It even has more downforce at the front than a CT5V Blackwing. They did that on purpose because they wanted this car, because it's lighter and smaller, to be that ultimate corner carver. Now, as we come across the front grille, all V-series cars, I don't care if you're talking about a CT-SV, no matter what you're looking at down the line, they each have their own unique V-Series grille. So you can see all of the gunmetal gray finish, the gloss black around the perimeter. It would have been nice for this to be in carbon fiber, the Cadillac badge, and then more functionality in the center, and of course that splitter that extends down. There's even aero work that's been done underneath the vehicle to help channel that air and suck it to the racetrack or your favorite twisty road. Now when you get up onto the hood, clean style, and the emerald forest green really shows the body lines. You're gonna get a slight bulge and it gets bigger as you head towards the windshield. That's what everybody wants, they want a bulge. With the BMW, you're getting a little bit more rounded shape. It really depends on what your cup of tea is, like my grandmother used to say. When you come around the bend, what are we working with? Now the funny thing, the ironic thing, the shocking thing, about the 4V Blackwing is many people expect it to have 19 or 20 inch wheels. It's got 18 inch wheels. But you know what? They look great and it works. You have this chrome finish, which is not my favorite, but I'm okay with it. I'd rather go with a nice like satin gray wheel or they have a beautiful like satin gold wheel that I think would work great with the green. But you got that multi-spoke design. The big news is, is that you got the different wheels to choose from and the different caliper colors. This one has the red calipers, Brembo six piston with the V-Series badge. You got 15 inch rotors, two piece to help dissipate the heat and give you that ultimate braking capability. Don't let the 18 inch wheel fill, fool you. 
I think it's smart to have the 18 inch wheel because you got more tire options, especially if you're going to take this to the track, which this is totally track worthy. You'll have more options of tires. From the factory, they come with those very sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Great for the road, but also great to give you some of that nice sticky grip. But I love the setup and I love the way it sits. One thing that this has that the BMW doesn't have is magnetic ride suspension. General Motors actually came up with magnetic ride suspension and now other brands have it like Ferrari and Ford, but you don't have that on BMW. BMW has adaptive suspension, which is adjusted by selecting different modes within the driver's system. This one does it automatically. Now, as you come down the side, you are gonna have a functional fender vent. Would have been nice if that was carbon fiber to, rat, to match the rest of the carbon fiber. We got the V-Series badge. You do have a carbon fiber side sill extension. That's a nice extra touch that tie it in with what's happening at the front of the vehicle. No sunroof. I'm okay with that because that's just gonna make this chassis much more rigid, much more rigid structure without a sunroof. Now the M3 has a carbon fiber roof. I'm very curious why they didn't go with a carbon fiber roof because that would have shaved at least eight pounds off the top and lower the center of gravity. We keep working our way back. I do like the way there's a quarter window. On the CT5 5V Blackwing, they just have a big section of gloss black. This is actually a window, so that's nice. Out back, you got 275 on the width. Get more rubber to the road because this is rear wheel drive, unlike the M3, which you could get all wheel drive. Coming to the rear, massive carbon fiber trunklet spoiler, full carbon fiber, looking extra sexy, extra beefy, and it provides the downforce that you want. LED lighting, Cadillac does a great job with their taillights and their headlights. And then working our way all the way down, check out our full carbon fiber diffuser to help channel and clear up the air coming out of the back of the vehicle and our quad tip exhaust. That's gonna let a nice throaty sound from the heart of this CT4V Blackwing. Speaking of the heart, let's go ahead and do some open heart surgery and pop the hood and check out the power of this performance sedan. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Now underneath the hood, it does not look as sexy as under the hood of the M3, but you do see the very interesting structural bracing that they put to help stiffen up the front end. It actually ties in the front and then goes to the shock top mount and then ties in the firewall. That's gonna help stiffen up the front end of the business. Engine cover, not my favorite, but at least it doesn't totally look like a trash can lid. You do get your V-Series badge. It would have been nice to have a little bit of carbon fiber or something extra there. But what is underneath that engine cover? You're looking at a 3.6 liter twin turbo V6, 472 horsepower, 445 pound-feet of torque. Now, if we're comparing that to the BMW, the BMW has a three liter turbocharged straight six that puts out, depending on how you option it, a little over 500 horsepower. But don't be confused with just horsepower numbers. This CT4V Blackwing with the 10 speed automatic does zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds, has a top speed of 190 and MPGs 15 in the city, 23 in the highway, and the car weighs less than an M3 at around 3,800 pounds. I guess the other big piece of news is that besides the 10 speed, you could actually option this with a six speed manual transmission. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this CT4V Blackwing and hear what it sounds like. Guys, we're inside this 2022 CT4V Blackwing. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at M3s. I almost bought one last week, but it was sold right before I got to the dealership. I'm curious about this 4V Blackwing, but the problem is it seems like it's got less horsepower. Well, guess what? You're right. It does have less horsepower. It doesn't have all-wheel drive, but check it out. Listen to the price. 
MSRP for the way that this one is equipped is right around $78,000. Compare that to an M3, you're looking at about $20,000 less than an M3. Something to think about, but why don't we go ahead and let's see what you're getting for the money to the door panels. You're getting that same clean styling from Cadillac. Nice white contrast stitching. This has the AKG premium sound system, a little bit of Alcaterra, a little bit more leather. Door pocket is on the tighter side, so maybe just one Big Mac and a large fry, and that's it. That's all you're gonna be able to fit in there, and maybe you might be able to get a bottle of Coca-Cola, but that's gonna be pushing it. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material, the stitching is great. Comparing this to the BMW, the BMW does have some nicer finishes. I mean, let's just call it for what it is. But like I said, there's a big price difference. Infotainment system, eight inches. I know what you're gonna say, well, Joe, the M3 has a bigger infotainment system. And you're right, it does, it's a couple inches bigger. But the great news is, look at the resolution. Super clear on the camera quality. And then one thing that this has that the BMW does not is check it out, your V mode configurator. So what you're able to do is not only can you go to the different modes, but now you can edit. And you can actually adjust everything exactly the way that you want it, including the performance traction management system. Really, really nice to have that within the vehicle. And then you're right back to home. So that is definitely something over the M3, which is better. Two AC vents, you got your uh, dual climate control with your nice toggle switches, ventilated seats and heated seats, wireless charging, nice stitching, carbon fiber, two cup holders, and then you got your key fob. Now, if you're wondering, well, why is the key fob red? It matches the colors of the brake calipers. So if you go for optional red calipers, you get a red key fob, that's how it works. You got your direct drive control knob, which is very similar to the iDrive controller. If you don't want to touch the screen, you got your different mode selectors. Not the softest leather, but you got the stitching. And then open it up, it only opens up my way. So we're gonna have to just make do. USB-C, USB-A, and you could probably put, I would say 16 Hot Wheels cars. So if you were like me and you collect Hot Wheels, you could get all your Hot Wheels in there, at least 16 of them. I definitely have more than 16. Let me know how many Hot Wheels you have in that comment section. Seats, these are the one piece race back seats that people just really crave for with the V-Series badge, the piping, the stitching, electric assist for the passenger, electric assist for the driver. These seats are gonna hold you in place no matter how, the G how heavy the G-Forces get in the turns. And you got that Alcantara headliner and the A-pillars. So it's interesting how some of the pieces of the puzzle of the interior don't stack up to the M3, but then other ones like the seats blow it out of the water. Coming over here, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this CT4V Blackwing and see how it compares to the BMW M3. Coming over. All right guys, business time. You got two memory seat settings for these sports seats. I do love the way they got this nice aluminum sill plate with the V-Series badge. We do get aluminum pedals. I was hoping for a manual, but you know what? Sometimes beggars can't be choosers, but you got aluminum brake pedal, throttle, and nice deb pedal. Seat controls within fingertips reach. I'm six feet tall. I feel perfect in here. These seats just freaking really nestle you perfect. And I really think that sometimes it takes getting into the seat to see how you're gonna feel about it. But highly recommend taking one of these for a drive. S steering wheel. Wonderful leather, the stitch work, the carbon fiber, each one is numbered, especially for 2022 being the first year of the CT4V Blackwing. You got your V-Series button, that's gonna get you into the different modes. And then you do have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down the 10-speed automatic transmission. And then the dash, one of my favorite. It gives you the perfect amount of information. You got the tack across the top. You then can actually go through all sorts of performance timers and data very easily on the right hand side. And then as you go into your different modes, it actually changes just a tad the information that is displayed. The one thing that I'm gonna zonk is there's no head up display for this particular one. So I am gonna zonk that. But other than that, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's check out the back seat and see how it stacks up to the M3. All right guys, back seat time. And this is where it, 
stacking it up against the M3, you could tell that the 4V Blackwing is definitely smaller because it's tighter back here. But I'm six feet tall. They do a pretty good job of keeping the headliner as close as they can to the underside of the roof. But let's see what else you have. With the one-piece sport performance seats, there are no pockets, but that's okay because you're not eating in my Blackwing or any of my cars. So I'm okay with that. I do love the V-Series logo that they put there and just the way that the back of the seat looks. You have these postage stamp size AC vents. The Zonk is you just get a 12 volt. No USB-A, no USB-C, and that's a surprise in a Cadillac. I had to move the seat up a tad to get some leg room back here, so just let that be known. Armrest, Charmin Soft with two cup holders, but you know what? Let's go ahead and see how it stacks up trunk space because I'm dying to go on throttle in this 4V Blackwing. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, time to get in the trunk. Now, compared to the M3, because the 4V Blackwing is a smaller vehicle, go figure, the trunk is smaller, but you're still getting plenty of usable space. How much space do we have? You're looking at 11 cubic feet of space. The seats do a 60-40 split, and you even have the required nook for a box of Twinkies, which are the perfect snack for your next track day. Highly recommend them. But while we go ahead, you know what I'm recommending right about now? Some on-throttle therapy. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in the CT4V Blackwing. All right, guys, we left Auto Nation Cadillac. We're in the CT4V Blackwing. And right away, you just, you feel like you're in something ultra special in a very, very good way. It allows you to have that enthusiast driving experience, but also to get that four-door versatility and the luxury that you come to expect from Cadillac. Now, I don't think you're gonna be missing the larger screen out of the M3. And the way that this CT5, the CT4V Blackwing builds power is quite potent. So if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. On throw, here we go, drop down, we're off. Yeah, pop out of that exhaust, sounds really good. It just, it makes all the right noises and the feedback is phenomenal, especially when it comes to the steering. Not only on a twisty road, but a racetrack, do you get great feedback, but that extra arrow will really come into play and allow you to have such great turning ability to where you're gonna be able to hit your apex every single time. All right, let's go for a dead stop, shall we? Launch control, on fire, we go, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Now what's really great about the 4V Blackwing is that of course this would be an ultimate daily driver where you get the best of both worlds. I love the unique look of not only the color, but also the extra aero bits, and it definitely looks more aggressive and purposeful than the BMW M3 seats. Like I said, some people might call these a little tight. I think they fit really, really well and hold you in place, especially laterally. That's where they earn their keep, is with that lateral hold, so that when you're going through the twisty bits, you're not gonna be sloshing all the way around like a, a bunch of water in a bathtub. Visibility is great. The 10 speed shifts so effectively, so smooth. And of course, if you want to shift manually, you just pull back on the shifter into M, and then now you can shift with those surfboard style paddles on the back of the steering wheel. All right, guys, let's do another acceleration test from a dead stop. I'm going to use the paddles to shift. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throw, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Smoke him if you got him. So quick with the shifts. I mean, they're lightning fast. And then the brakes with those 15 inch rotors, you're gonna be able to shed speed faster than an American Bulldog shaves ha hair. And that really is what this car is about. This is like an American Bulldog, really brawny, even in the twin turbo setup. Now, of course, if you go with the CT5V Blackwing, that kind of takes it to an all new level. 
But even this Ford V Blackwing does the business with getting that muscle power to the ground. And it's a lot more fun to drive than an M3. That's what I think. On oh, right, here we go. On the brakes. Look at the turn in, very crisp. Really allows you to just handle so well. And the great news is with that magnetic ride suspension, you're not beating yourself up. It's not, it's not like you're shaking your kidneys out of the out of your body. It rides actually pretty smooth for the type of car that it is. I mean, look at this. Here we go. Really nice. The feedback, it's almost like the steering wheel is connected to your frontal lobe. You think it, and the car is already doing it. On oh, wow. On the brakes. The sounds. Everything just all it all comes together the big picture all comes together very very well very well I tell you it's a special car and These cars are disappearing. That's for sure disappearing quick, but we're gonna get back Hopefully this has been a nice overall view of what the 4v Blackwing is all about we're gonna get back to Auto Nation Cadillac and wrap this one up so I will see you in a split it's been second. Another great day here at Auto Nation Cadillac. I definitely gotta thank Cadillac Corey and the rest of the crew getting us this Emerald Forest Green CT4V Blackwing really showcases what Cadillac is able to do when they really really want to get it done but let me know what you think. Have they done enough for this Blackwing or would you rather go take your money and get a BMW M3? I'm very curious to hear what you have to say. So put that in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel, on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Gotta give it up to the muscle behind the lens. She's got twin turbos. They're the two arms that hold that camera so steady. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.